Okay, perfect. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Adriana Lagrange. I'm the MLA for Red Deer North and the Minister of Education, and it is my honour to be here. So on behalf of Premier Jason Kenney and my government colleagues, I welcome you to the Red Deer Regional Airport for today's exciting announcement. Many industries in central Alberta play a key role in Alberta's economic success. Topping the list is the region's rich history of agriculture. Generations of families living off the land have contributed greatly to the culture and our prosperity. And I know this firsthand because my husband and I farm on the family farm that's been in our family uh, for over 80 years now. We also have oil and gas, forestry, fishing and hunting, and many other sectors that are woven into the fabric of our society. As well, the Penhold Airport, now the Red Deer Regional Airport, has been an important part of Central Alberta's history as it was established in 1940 during World War II as the RCAF Station Penhold, home to the Royal Air Force No. 36 Service Flying Training School as part of the British Commonwealth Air Training Plan. Today, I am pleased to say a new investment in Budget 2022 will help this industry take new flight and in turn help our regional and provincial economy reach new heights. The Premier and others will have more to say on that in just a moment. First, I would like to welcome some very special guests. My colleague in Red Deer, the MLA for Red Deer South, Jason Steffen. Red Deer County Councillor Dana DePalm. From the Red Deer Regional Airport, CEO Graham Ingham. Airport Authority Board Member Ian Park. Director of Airport Operations, Derwin Hine. Director of Business Development and Communications, Nancy Pache. And Director of Safety and Security, Lindy McDermott. From the City of Red Deer, Deputy City Manager Tara Ludwig, Chief of Staff Sean McIntyre, and Manager of Land and Economic Development John Sanema. I got it right, John. Did I? Awesome. From Red Deer County, County Manager Curtis Herzberg. Assistant County Manager David Dietrich and Economic Development Officer Sandra Badry. And from the Red Deer Chamber of Commerce, Policy and Government Relations, Manager Reg Workington and Manager of Membership and Community Relations, Chris Windrum. Just before we begin, I would like to let the media know that you will have a chance to ask questions following the formal speeches. There will be one question and one follow-up. Ladies and gentlemen, I would now like to welcome to the podium a man who has worked tirelessly for decades for Alberta, particularly over the last few years. And he's done this because of his great love and his great passion for Alberta. Everyone, I'd like to welcome our Premier, the Honourable Jason Kenney. Thank you so much, Adriana. Thank you all uh, for being here, especially my colleagues, uh, Minister Lagrange and Jason Stefan, um, MLA Dresian, Minister uh, Sani, and your your Worship, Mayor Johnson. Thanks for welcoming me here uh, twice in one week uh, for good news for the cit citizens of Red Deer and Central Alberta, uh, as well. Uh, Deputy Mayor Massier, I'm sorry that Jim couldn't be with us, uh, but um, I'll tell you that. Uh, it was uh, Shazma here who's freezing. She doesn't have a jacket. And it was Jim Wood who were the first who put this project on my radar screen a couple of years back. And I'm so delighted to be here. I, they immediately got, got my attention about the vision of a significant step up in 
uh, civil aviation and passenger air, airline service for the people of central Alberta. And I believe if we get this right for all of Alberta families, that we'll be able to get super low cost air service out of Red Deer. But I better get to the announcement first. I'm getting ahead of myself. First of all, let me say how excited I was to be here last week to announce the single largest Alberta capital investment in the history of central Alberta, the largest ever redevelopment of a hospital in Alberta history, the $1.8 billion investment in the new Red Deer Regional Hospital. With uh, $200 million of that going into the ground, shovels in the ground over the next three years as we build capacity for our provincial health care system. And I am now delighted to be here to make a very exciting announcement about the future of the regional economy. We are here at the airport for a good reason, because uh, aviation is a critical part of our economy. 71,000 people in Alberta are employed in aviation, aerospace, and logistics. And I, I find that surprising. This is an industry that, pardon the pun, uh, flies below the radar. Um, for a lot of Albertans, that's a $7.2 billion contribution to Alberta's economy. Uh, that is big money. That is a lot of wealth. And it is has been ranked the third uh, largest in Canada by company size um, and fourth by the number of companies. And you know, this is a sector that is growing in our province. Uh, the recent um, expansion uh, of, for example, uh, as you know, we've had in Alberta, uh, the expansion of uh, Flair and the recent establishment of Lynx uh, to low-cost carriers that have decided to operate in Alberta. Why? Because this is, the bit, this is the best place in Canada to do business in, with the lowest taxes, the least regulations, um, and the most pr uh, business-friendly environment. But that's right. Come on. Come on, we need to celebrate what's happening in Alberta's amazing economic turnaround story right now. And we'd like to, th to see that Alberta's recovery plan is a big part of it. The job creation tax cut, the red tape reduction strategy, but also sector strategies, key investments and incentives uh, in, in many different sectors, including aviation. And you're going to see a lot more exciting news this spring in that sector here in Alberta. But that's what brings us here today. You know, we've been investing about... Um, as a government, seven, eight billion dollars a year in building the province, building the architecture of our future economy through public infrastructure for schools, roads, hospitals, uh, critical infrastructure, and yes, transportation infrastructure. Uh, and that is why I am so excited today to announce that Alberta's government will invest $7.5 million towards the expansion and development of the Red Deer Regional Airport. This is a big part of the $18 million vision put together uh, by the Regional Airport Authority. I want to uh, give a shout out to Garrett Couples and his board for their vision and their patience as they carefully put together this plan. Um, and it, the vision is this, that by expanding the terminal services, expanding the runway and other additional uh, facilities on site here, that Red Deer will become a natural hub for low cost carriers to provide daily uh, service across Canada. And I see a day when, pa when families from Calgary and Edmonton and elsewhere in the province might drive down here to Red Deer uh, to benefit from competitive low cost passenger service. And that will bring uh, people to hotel rooms in Red Deer and central Alberta, to restaurants, to the service industry. And uh, I just think will be a huge boost. So I wanna thank Red Deer County, the city, all the economic development folks, the airport authority itself for the vision, for getting our attention to MLAs, uh, Stefan and uh, Dreeshin and LaGrange and the neighboring MLAs who have put forward this prog project. Um, we're ha happily here today, and here's good, good news. You know, that Red Deer Hospital, the only thing I didn't like is it's going to take several years to complete the whole project. We're going to ride them as fast, as, as hard as we can to get it done as quick as we can. But on this one, here's the good news. I am told, and I intend to keep them to this, that there will be shovel shovels in the ground this spring, and this will be done by the end of this year. So... Um, Minister Sani, you're going to work with them all to make sure that happens, right? Are you up next? 
All right, and with that, um, to bring a seven and a half million dollar check, my wonderful colleague, Alberta's Minister of Transportation, the Honourable Rajan Sani, give her a hand. Thank you, Premier, and good afternoon, everyone. It's so wonderful to see you all here to share in this wonderful announcement today. What a great day for the residents of Red Deer and indeed the entire Red Deer region. Expansion of the runway and other improvements here at the Red Deer Regional Airport are a true game changer for central Alberta. It means more travel options and new economic and investment opportunities. It will also create hundreds of new jobs to support the airline industry. Soon, residents of this region will be able to consider travel plans without making a trip to Edmonton or Calgary to catch a flight. This expansion also means increased tourism opportunities for the region, with easy access to the Badlands, the mountains, and many points in between. Our government knows a strong, broad-based aviation industry is critical to Alberta's economic success. We know we need a connected, integrated supply chain where air, rail, and trucking can easily connect to move goods into and out of Alberta. Our aviation sector is a key player in making that happen. Alberta's government recently announced the formation of the Strategic Aviation Advisory Council. The council has been appointed to provide recommendations to government on how aviation and aerospace-related services, infrastructure, and activities can support economic growth in Alberta through and beyond the post-pandemic recovery. Air services that support tourism and economic growth is one of the many aspects that the Council will consider. We expect Alberta will once again become a top destination for tourism and business travel. Today's announcement is a perfect, a perfect example of how investing in the aviation industry can benefit all Albertans. I want to thank the Red Deer's Regional Airport Red Deer County and the City of Red Deer for its vision for the future for playing a part in Alberta's re economic recovery. And now I would like to welcome my colleague, the MLA for the area, Innisfail Sylvan Lake, MLA Devin Dreeshen. Thank you, everybody. Well, thank you very much. It's great to be here in my ride of Innisfil Sylvan Lake. And this airport means so much to the people that live in here in central Alberta. And when you look at all the great businesses around here, Buffalo and Airspray and Skywings Aviation, they employ so many great local people. And uh, it really does capture the imagination of people, the aviation space. And it's just great to see this investment for the airport so it can grow and expand and uh, just have more economic opportunities for central Alberta. So with that, it's uh, my great pleasure to invite my friend, I will say that my friend, Garrett Couples, the chair of the Red Deer Regional Airport Authority. <laughs> Thanks, Devin. I don't know if that's going to cost me later or not. So there's been a lot of comments already. I won't, I won't take up too much time. I think everybody's getting pretty warm by now. Uh, so just now, now more than ever, you know, aviation-related business are actively looking for alternatives to ever-increasing costs. Those are associated with operating out of large airports. So with lower user fees, lease rates, free parking, and no improvement fees, Red Deer Regional Airport were set up and well positioned for future growth. I just want to say many thanks to everyone. There's a lot of people here that have, that have participated and advocated on our behalf. Our board and CEO, Graham, City of Red Deer, Red Deer County have been on board with us the whole time. Uh, special thanks to Premier Kenny, who believed in our concept from the very beginning. Uh, Minister Sani, who met with us a few times, both in person and on many Teams calls, and obviously our local area MLAs, uh, Minister LaGrange, MLA Stefan, and of course, Devin Dreeshen. Without your support, this would just be talk. Thank you. Now I'd like to call the Premier forward. We have a plaque for him. It's going to go up in the, in the airport Beauty. office here. In recognition of your 
of your significant contribution to the success of Red Deer Regional Airport. Thank you. Thank you, Gert. Now I'd like to introduce uh, Red Deer Deputy Mayor, uh, Philip Massier. Thank you. Hello. As the days get longer and spring approaches, 22 is filled with anticipation. On behalf of Mayor Wood, Councillor De Palm, and all of Red Deer County Council, I would like to take this opportunity to thank Premier Kenny and his UCP gov provincial government for their continued leadership in investing in our central Alberta region. I applaud the recent news this past week on how this government is investing the $1.8 billion into the Red Deer Regional Hospital. Red Deer County is home to close to 20,000 residents, and it's within the radius of Alberta's largest cities with access to more than 2 million people. This airport expansion project will diversify the local economy by attracting new industries and activities not currently available in our area due to the limited facilities at our current airport. I am thrilled for the future in building a stronger Alberta economy through exceptional planning and execution. Today is a great day, and this is definitely exciting news. The Red Deer Regional Airport, located here in Red Deer County, is situated along the busiest transportation hub in the province. This expansion will provide huge economic benefits to central Alberta. Additionally, the Red Deer Regional Airport is positioned, as we have heard, to become Alberta's first ultra-low-cost airport, providing Albertans and businesses with unique air travel options and opportunities for development and supply chain. Red Deer County welcomes this news and is appreciative for this important investment from the government of Alberta and the continuing commitment to build economic prosperity in central Alberta. Thank you so much. And I'd now like to introduce our great partner, the city of Red Deer, Mayor Johnston. Well, good afternoon, everybody. I left the other five pages of my speech uh, on the uh, tarmac. You'll be glad to. Yes, thank you for that. That's, uh, that's awesome. But Honourable Mr. Premier, so nice to have you back in central Alberta today and your, your team of ministers and MLAs. Uh, you know, the heart goes out to you for the cooperation that you're sending us. So on behalf of my Red Deer City Council colleagues, I'm so pleased to be here this afternoon with you and bring greetings on behalf of our council and our entire city. The Red Deer Regional Airport is a regional amenity that supports the whole of Alberta. Investment into this airport translates to not only potential for increased passengers, revenues and regional economic development, but also opportunities to generate employment at a time when the economy and the travel industry in particular needs it most. After years of being one of the region's best kept secrets, the announcement today will surely get the community talking about all the exciting possibilities that lie ahead. We are so pleased that the government of Alberta has recognized that in building Red Deer and Red Deer County, they are building Alberta. This airport expansion will position not only central Alberta for economic growth, but our entire province. The city of Red Deer looks forward to continuing our support at the Red Deer Airport and its endeavors and welcomes as much needed funding from the government of Alberta, which will assist us in moving forward. I'd like to thank the provincial government, Red Deer County and our partners there, and everyone else who came together to form such an effective partnership. Thank you so much. Unlucky for you, the, the mayor gave me all his extra pages. <laughs> This is a great announcement and it's a clear signal that Central Alberta will continue to be a key player as we move forward with Alberta's recovery plan now and for many years to come. This infrastructure investment, along with the $1.8 billion allocated to the expand the Red Deer Regional Hospital, as well as the new courthouse, as well as the new therapeutic community recovery center, as well as the new homeless shelter, as well as major modernization to one of our high schools into a new school in Red Deer, 
as well as so many other projects that have been announced and some yet to be announced, uh, shows our tangible commitment as a government to making and recognizing the integral role that Red Deer in Central Alberta plays in the overall prosperity of Alberta. This is a great day, but it's only one of many to come. So thank you so much for attending. And now it is time for uh, the media questions and Justin will be moderating. Thank you, Minister. We're gonna start with questions on the floor here. I believe we have some reporters in person. Please walk up to the mic, identify who you're with and uh, direct your questions to whoever. Because of the cold, we'll limit ourselves to legislature time limits, 35 seconds. <laughs> Go for it. And please go ahead and go inside, folks. I see there's some wine in there. You might want to get started, get warmed up. <laughs> My guess is this could be for uh, Premier Kenny or Minister Sani. I, I, one thing that did catch my ear is you mentioned rail. Uh, <laughs> with uh, the airport expansion is obviously very great news. Uh, High-speed rail, I know, is uh, something very far off into the future, possibly. How does that fit into uh, these plans, or does it? Thank you. I'm very happy you answered that question because we're looking at a couple of projects right now as it relates to high-speed rail. And I can tell you I'm working very closely with one company. And these projects do take time. It's significant capital investment. It's significant feasibility study that is involved. But uh, rest assured, there's a couple of projects that we're looking at right now. We've signed a few MOUs. And, uh, and I look forward to sharing more in the future. All right. All right. We're good. Let's get warm. Okay. Thank you. Oh, great. All right.